हेलो एवरी वन लेट स्टार्ट विद अवर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज रदर फोर्ड एंड सॉडी लॉ फॉर रेडियो एक्टिव डी के सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी शुड अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज रेडियो एक्टिव डी के रेडियो एक्टिव डी के मीन्स वेन एवर आर रेडियो एक्टिव सब्सटेंस एमिट और रेडिएट आ पार्टिकल लाइक अल्फा बीटा और गामा इन इन दैट रेडिएशन इन एल्फा एंड बीटा द एटोमिक नंबर ऑफ रेडियो एक्टिव सब्सटेंस चेंजेस सो बोज यू हैव टेकन थाउजेंड एटम्स ऑफ अ रेडियो एक्टिव सब्सटेंस एंड कंटिन्यूसली इट इज एमिटिंग सम एल्फा पार्टिकल्स सो आफ्टर एमिटिंग अ पर्टिकुलर एल्फा पार्टिकल द एटोमिक नंबर ऑफ द सब्सटेंस रिड्यूज बाय टू इट मीन्स आफ्टर सम इंस्टेंट यू कैन सी सम ऑफ द सब्सटेंसेज आर चेंज एज यू नो द सब्सटेंस आइडेंटिटी ऑफ सब्सटेंस इज एटोमिक नंबर एज एटोमिक नंबर चेंजेस द सब्सटेंस विल ऑल्सो चेंज सो दिस continuous changing of radioactive substance into another substance is called radioactive decay so we have a law that is rutherford and soddy law for radioactive decay the law is the rate of decay of radioactive atoms at any instant is proportional to the number of atoms present at that time means suppose we have if we have 1000 atoms then there will be a certain rate of decay but if we have 2000 atoms then the rate of decay will be doubled because the rate of decay is directly proportional to the number of atoms present at that time the more number of atoms you will take more will be the radi- uh, um, rate of decay so now we have to derive an expression for that rate of decay is directly proportional to the number of atoms present at that instant means minus dn upon dt is directly proportional to n minus why minus because it is decay it is rate of disintegration rate of rate of reduction is directly proportional to n where n represents the uh, present number of atoms in next line minus dn upon dt is equal to delta n where delta is the decay constant in next line dn upon n is equal to minus lambda t again we are integrating both sides so integration dn by n is equal to minus lambda integration dt so 1 upon n dn integration is log n with base e is equal to minus lambda t plus c let it be equation number 1 at time t is equal to 0 whenever the time is t whenever the time t is equal to 0 the amount of the radioactive substance will be equal to the initial amount whatever the amount we have taken at the initial time let it be n not <coughs> so on placing this value in this equation in place of n it will be n not in place of t it will be 0 so c is equal to log n not with base e like this now on placing this value of c again in equation number 1 you will be getting log n with base e is equal to minus lambda t plus log n not with base e in next line we can write log n with base e minus log n not with base e is equal to minus lambda t log a minus log b is equal to log a upon b so it will be log n upon n not is equal to minus lambda t in next line n upon n not is equal to e raised to power minus lambda t that is a conversion of log into exponential so n upon n not is equal to e raised to power minus lambda t n is equal to n not e raised to power minus lambda t that is the expression of rutherford and soddy law okay now see the next thing next thing is half life the time duration in which half of the initial amount of radioactive substance decays is called half life means suppose we have taken 1000 radioactive atoms so the time duration in which 500 of the radioactive atoms converted into any other substance is called half life let's see about the expression of half life formula n is equal to n not e raised to power minus lambda t that is the expression of rutherford and soddy law at t is equal to capital t that is half life the remaining amount must be equal to half of the initial amount so on placing this value here n in place of n we are writing n not so n not upon 2 is equal to n not e raised to power minus lambda t 
एन नॉट एन नॉट कैंसिल वन अपॉन टू इज इक्वल टू ई रेज टू पावर माइनस लैमडा टी इन नेक्स्ट लाइन ई रेज टू पावर लैमडा टी इज इक्वल टू टू ऑन टेकिंग लॉग ऑफ बोथ साइड्स लॉग ई विथ बेस ई रेज टू पावर लैमडा टी इज इक्वल टू लॉग टू विथ बेस ई दिस लैमडा टी विल कम एज कोफिशियंट सो लैमडा टी इन टू लॉग ई विथ बेस ई लॉग ई विथ बेस ई इज ऑलवेज जीरो सॉरी इज ऑलवेज वन and this log 2 with base e 0.6931 in next line lambda t is equal to 0.6931 and t is equal to 0.6931 upon lambda that is the relation between half life and decay constant <coughs> sorry let's see the next thing that is activity of a radioactive substance the rate of decay of a radioactive substance is only called as Activity of radioactive substance. So rate of decay is minus d n upon d t. So minus d n upon d t is directly equal to r. R is equal to r not e raised to power lambda t. Means activity of radioactive substance will also follow that same expression. A note: the radioactive activity of substances decreases with time. Definitely, as you can see, that r is equal to minus d n upon d t and r is equal to r not e raised to power minus lambda t. It must be decreases with time now we have a relation between remaining amount that is n of substance and number of half lives that expression is n capital n is equal to n not 1 upon 2 raised to power small n in this expression capital n is remaining amount of or present amount n not is initial amount and small n is number of half lives means suppose half life of a radioactive substance is 5 years and they are asking the remaining amount after 15 years so in 15 years how many half lives 3 so small n will be 3 for example next thing is mean life of radioactive substance that is tau the average of the lives of all the atoms in a radioactive substance is called mean life means in a sample of any radioactive substance there are many atoms and all the atoms may have different lives some must be decayed in first half life some in second half life and they definitely one will be having the life as infinity so average of lives of all the atoms of radioactive substance in a particular sample is called mean life of radioactive substance it is also the reciprocal of decay constant so tau is equal to 1 upon lambda the mean life is reciprocal of decay constant and the relation between mean life and half life is tau is equal to 1.443 into half life that is the relation between mean life and half life so that is all for this video thank you